Hey everyone, my name is Ethan um, and I am part of the team here in our Manchester Central campus um, and I'm believing today that I can inspire you in your faith just a little bit and help you in your walk with Jesus today. So we're continuing our series on why only Jesus. Who is Jesus to me and who is Jesus to you? And I don't know about you, but I'm a massive doer. I love to do DIY, though I don't get to it very often and I'm probably on the same par as Pastor Mark Foster. I love to make logistical plans. I love to go step one to 10 and complete those things in perfect order, in perfect synchrony, though often they don't go very well. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know about you, but you might be similar to me. Or maybe you're saying, hey, to be honest with you, I'm not very good at making plans and I kind of just wing it. And to be fair, I also know what that feels like. But one thing I do know is that Jesus establishes our plans. Proverbs 16 verse 3 tells us to commit your work to the Lord and he will establish your steps. And actually Proverbs 16 speaks loads on this idea of humanity establishing our plans in our hearts and our minds, but then God outworking them through us. So maybe today you're in multiple boats. Maybe you're saying, hey, actually, I don't know what my plan looks like. I'm totally off track. I don't think I'm in the right place. Well, I know God can establish your plans. Maybe today you're saying, hey, I'm in the middle of a plan, but it's real stressful and I don't know what life's looking like right now. I know Jesus can establish your plans. And maybe you're in a third boat, which is saying, hey, I'm actually coming to the end of a plan and I don't know what's next. Well, Jesus can establish your plans. See, it's real simple to pray a prayer, submitting to the will of God, which means submitting to his uh, plans and dreams for your life. You see, having dreams and having plans isn't a bad thing. We should dream, we should plan, we should be logistical in our thinking to make sure that life works, but we should hold things lightly. We should hold things lightly in a way that allows Jesus to change things, to work things, to move things, to make his will um, apparent in our life. So let's pray quickly. Jesus, we thank you that you're good. Jesus, we love you. God, we pray for every single person watching right now that they would have a moment today where they recognize your tangible presence with them. God, would they have a moment where they recognize that you are working things in and through them to establish your will here on earth. God, we submit to it today. We say, have your way in and through our lives, God. Would we lead people to you? Would we make you known on this earth, God? And we pray that would we not just do things our way. Though sometimes our plans may look good, God, would we submit to your plans? We say that you are king, that you are sovereign, which means you are in control of everything. And God, we pray today, would we know you better than we did yesterday? We love you, Jesus. Amen. Pleasure to be with you. I hope that inspired you in your faith. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on Sunday.